you are so serious about making money, this is the channel for you. Lecture in which I'm going to walk you through prompt number two, in which we're going to brainstorm trending Redbubble collections and designs. So for that, I shared a prompt with you and the resources of this particular lecture. You can find it and it reads as follows. Okay, now for each collection, suggest at least five designs that I could upload onto Redbubble as well as what to put on those designs. Describe the, these designs in details as well as the text to put on each designs of them, if any. So there are some designs that are like patterns. They don't have any, uh, they don't have any text. As well as make it incredibly eye-catchy and fun to get the most interest in purchases. Also specify what these designs can be used for. And remember that one design can be used on different types of products. So for example, it could be used on t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, but it can, uh, it also cannot be used on others. So I'm going to copy this prompt, go back to chat GPT. So here I'm going to stay in the same chat, hit the enter button, and then just wait for chat GPT's response. Now, at the same time, while chat GPT is generating the response, I would like to announce to you that I will share with you a very small, humble template in which it's not nothing more than, than uh, a template in which you can actually insert your elements. And so it will be composed like this. Basically, it will have the, uh, the title of your collection here, the text, if any, uh, that will be placed in the collection. So if there is no text, just leave it empty. Design, the design is the, the description of the design and here the prompt. Now the prompt, we'll add it later on the third prompt that we were going to add to chat to ask to chat GPT in which it's going it's going to generate for us the Leonardo AI prompt that we will use to generate the image that is represented design and then suitable for what so for example there are some designs that are only suitable for uh t-shirts and not for others so I'm just going to try to make this like this you can zoom out like that and then you can select everything and just level the surface there you go so now this in this example I have all of these elements but I'm going to empty empty this right so let me just go back empty and then here empty and then just click on this and i'm going to download this okay and then you name this collection for instance collection number one and then you just basically repeat the process so we'll take the name collection one we'll take it to the next uh one so i'm going to hit Control c click here Control v and then just remove the one replace it with two and then do the same thing Control and the third and then basically what you do from here you just you just copy this template and it's going to be used exactly as is in the next pages so i'm gonna put it there and then we can edit it later right like this and then basically we just make it bigger there you go and this as well let's just make it bigger and there you go and we can just make sure these are all the same size 12 okay 12 and that all of them are actually Montserrat. There's this, um, let me select Montserrat 12. Okay, let's level them up. And basically, let's do the same thing for here Montserrat 12. There you go. There you go. That's good. This one as well Montserrat 12. So now we are ready to go ahead and copy paste everything that ChatGPT has now brainstormed into our file. Now, what was the first uh, the first uh, collection? Is Pet Lovers Collection? So copy the name of the collection, come back to your file, and paste the name right there, and then you come back here, and then you pay, now now this is how you're going to start to do this, right? Now, best for uh, for Jens, this is the text and this is the description. And it's, this is what it's suitable for, right? So this is how it basically places this. So the text is this one. So you copy the text, you place it right here. And simply next to it, you put the design description. Now for the prompt, we'll do it in the next lecture. So for instance, uh, the, uh, the description of this particular one is, uh, is uh, a cute cartoonish illustration of a dog and a cat snuggling together. I don't know what that means, but anyways. Uh, hopefully nothing too bad All right and then suitable for t-shirts and mugs and bandanas so we're going to copy that go back to suitable for what place it here now we'll repeat the same process in order for me not to sound like a broken record i'm only going to do it for the second operation and then you'll have to go ahead and do it yourselves right so pause and reflect this is the text place it here and then we basically go to the description of the element of the design so it's basically an adorable paw print design with mirror effect. Now, don't worry because we're going to use a free tool to do the design. It's called uh, Leonardo AI and it's for free. 
It gives you access to 150 tokens a day, which will enable you to generate as much as 10 designs per day, and sometimes less. But it's better than uh, better than Mid Journey actually because it, it uses uh, stable diffusion and a lot of models. that have access to a lot of models. I'm going to introduce you to it later. But another interesting thing about Leonardo is that it gives you things for free. Right? So it gives you free credits as opposed to that Mid Journey will ask you to pay. So now that you know how this is done, make sure that you fill all of this. I want you to do this as we are going through the course. So if you're going to watch the course and then just maybe just watch it for fun, I don't like that. So I want you to take a piece of a pen and paper, sit in front of the computer, open up a spreadsheet, do everything that we're doing. You don't have anything to lose. So if you've taken this course, make sure that you go all the way through the end and do exactly everything that we teach you to do hands on and you're going to learn a skill, right? So. Uh, this is how you grow. If you watch a course and do nothing about it, then that's just procrastination. That's not taking action. Now, I'm sorry to say this. Uh, I, I know that you might not take it. Uh, you might take it personally. You might not like what I'm saying. You might think I'm too hard, but I'm not too hard because I just want the best for you. I want you to make sure that you don't just waste all this knowledge. So knowledge is knowledge. Knowledge is not power. As many people will tell you, knowledge is knowledge, but knowledge with action is power. So if you take action with this, then you will do something. And we have students that have been able to accomplish good results. And that's because they've taken action. Real. Right? That's because they've taken action. Lately, I've received a message from one of our students. Actually, it made me very, really happy that he made, in his first month online, his first, actually his first two, uh, 10, 12 days of working online, after watching uh, one of the courses, he made $120 and he was ecstatic. He came to me very, very happy, thanking me, that's the kind of things I like to see. I, I like to see people that take the, the what, I'm, what we're sharing, but also they're going and practicing it. Okay, so see you in the next lecture in which we're going to move on to prompt number, uh, number three, which will help us generate the Leonardo AI prompts that will help us to create our images. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next lecture.